Hey, and welcome to Understanding Your Psychology. Um, topic of today is depression. Why am I doing this? Yes, to help others maybe understand it more than mainly for me. <laughs> it's something to do. Things to keep your mind off. Whatever it is that's bothering you. And usually people with depression, it's not just one thing. It's always a buildup of something. And, you know, just that one super big thing or that sometimes even that one super small thing just sets you off. And then it just begins as, like, just rolling down a hill. <laughs> um, what are the symptoms? Well, number one, you're always sad. <laughs> Fake smiles. Uh... Sometimes you eat too much. Sometimes you don't eat enough. Sometimes you exercise too much. Sometimes you just sleep all day. Um, it, I want to say that it would be on the borderline of excessive of anything. Um, that's harmful to yourself. Uh, some people cut. And well, other ways of bodily mutilation that I wouldn't consider the most best way to deal with it. Um, I myself have been a cutter here lately. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a cutter. I mean, like, yes, I'm going through a depression right now. So all of you know how I deal with it. Well, I wouldn't say it's the best way. I quit eating. I did not want to quit eating. It just happens, and the only thing I can, like, say to, like, I guess describe, like, how it just goes is your life is in turmoil. You have no control over your situations and how things are going, like, you've, it's when you become at wit's end, and then you feel like you have no control. So, eating's, like, the easiest way to control, and for me, just not eating is like the easiest way for me to control my depression. Um, even though I'm not really a cutter anymore, I still do knives to my skin. I admit, I did not that long ago and instead of actually cutting, because I had a friend who like bled to death and if I'm going to commit suicide, I'm not going to do it the wrong way and suffer. I'd rather do it the right way, but she, uh, she almost bled to death, and I really don't want that. Like, if it's going to happen, I would just rather end it, but I sometimes do what I call is, like, carving, and you go just deep enough to kind of give yourself, like, that adrenaline rush that makes you feel good. And then, yeah, and none of these things, I'm not telling anyone to do this. This is not good. It's just what happens, and the, these are my symptoms. I realize my symptoms. I'm totally aware, and, you know, it's just a ways of combating it because I'm having it to where it's, like, 24-7, so I'm having to constantly occupy myself 24-7 because I'm not sleeping either. So, well, what can I do in the night? Um, I could do some art. I, I've been, you know, trying to do more art. Uh, music. Music actually was a good getaway. I haven't played music in a while. I picked up my keyboard, started trying to play some songs by ears, get the chords down. It just, it was soothing. And it made me just totally lose myself, which was even better. I can't really lose myself that well with drawing sometimes because it sometimes just gets morbid and I cry all over the paper and it gets wet. But, um, yeah, music has so far has been the best. Uh, but you can't always do that. Uh, car rides. Car rides help. Don't be so upset that you're all over the road. I've already done that. It's not a good idea either. But uh, if you're going to go for a car ride, buckle up. Don't be all over the road. Definitely be sober. Um, 
music. <laughs> Play music and sing. That always helps. Another tip, try and get sunlight. Like, I know some of us, like, become really reclusive and we don't want to get out there. We're just... We don't... We quit trying to socialize. We don't want to socialize. We'd rather just mope in our own... Shit. But... The best thing to do, actually, is to get out. I mean, definitely get some sunlight. Not saying you have to go see friends, but if you have friends, use them. Like, they are such a wonderful resource to be able to have someone who's there, who can comfort you. And I'm not saying boyfriend or girlfriend, but, you know, that helps too. But if you have a friend who's there for you, that's the best. I've been having to... Stay several different nights with, you know, a few what I consider kind of close friends. But, yeah, like, for me, I, I can't be alone. It's uh, it's not working tonight I'm alone. Um, I figured I'd do a video, see what I can do as far as art. Preoccupy myself till I either pass out from my hunger or pass out from my sleep deprivation. Um... Yeah, keep yourself occupied, and if you can, if z -Quil works for you, take some z -Quil to sleep if you're having problems sleeping, and Zoloft is used for depression. Now, I wouldn't recommend just taking it from a friend. I almost did, but he couldn't find it. But the only danger of doing that is, unless you go speak to a doctor, it's like, I hear stories of it actually makes you suicidal. So while you might just be depressed and not suicidal, you could take Zoloff and then next thing you know, you're having suicidal thoughts. So it's not recommended for everyone. Do what makes you happy. If you have animals, petting animals, go see cuddly kitties. I'm going to try and take a trip to the kitty place and feed the animals. Definitely see some kittens. <laughs> might help. Um, there, there's so much to it, but just some hints for you guys, maybe some pointers. If you have any questions, put it down in the box. I've never done this really, like, don't understand how it works. I don't have any cool little sign or anything to make pop up. But yeah. And don't ask me for best ways to kill yourself. I'm not going to give that kind of information. Do you want to know? Go look it up. But it's not going to come from me. You're trying to deal with problems, not kill ourselves. As beautiful as it may sound and wonderful. It, you know, if you don't die naturally, don't do it. It's like drugs. It's not natural. Don't do it. Yeah, I guess that's all I got to say. Um, peace out, YouTubers. Have a beautiful day.